Hi everyone and welcome back to Think Science. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can be notified of more content. Today, we will be discussing the cell cycle. First, let's start off with the question of the day. How is the cell cycle for a cancer cell different than the cell cycle for a healthy cell? Leave your answer in the comments. So what is the cell cycle? The cell cycle is the life of a cell. There are two main parts. The first part is interphase. This is the stage where the cell spends most of its life. During this stage, the cell is accumulating nutrients and growing. Interphase can be broken up into three different phases, G1, S, and G2. The other fourth phase, which is not included in interphase, is called the M phase, which consists of mitosis and cytokinesis. We will discuss what these terms are later in this video. Let's start with the G1 phase, where the cells enter the cell cycle. At this stage, the DNA content of the cell is 2N, so 46 chromosomes. 23 of these come from the male parent, and the other 23 come from the female parent. So it is 2N, which is why it is called a diploid cell. The G1 phase is where the cell grows, so it makes various enzymes and nutrients. This is the stage of the cell where the cell produces the most proteins. After the G1 phase, the cells are going to go through the cell cycle checkpoint to make sure that the cell has made proteins correctly and that the cell's DNA is intact. It will also check other factors like the size of the cell and the nutrients of the cell. If there are no problems, then the cell can either go into G0 phase or it goes into S phase. The first possible path that we will discuss is the G0 phase. This is when the cell stops dividing and instead grows and performs designated tasks. These types of cells are mature cardiac muscle cells or nerve cells. The cell could also go into the S phase or the synthesis phase. When DNA synthesis occurs, in this phase, the cell takes its 46 chromosomes and replicates them in a process called DNA replication. It also duplicates the centrosomes, which will be used to separate the DNA during the M phase. We will cover this process of DNA replication in detail in a future video. The next phase is the G2 phase, where the cell continues to grow and make more proteins and organelles to make sure that there are enough for two cells. It also begins to reorganize in order to prepare for mitosis. To avoid creating cells that don't work properly, the cell will go through another cell cycle checkpoint called the G2 checkpoint. This checkpoint will check for any DNA damage, make sure that the DNA was completely replicated in replication, and also assess other cell conditions, such as the amount of cell proteins and organelles. If the checkpoint senses any damages, the cell will stay in the G2 phase until it corrects its errors. If the damage is too bad to be corrected, the cell will undergo programmed cell death or apoptosis. This is to prevent any of the damaged DNA from being passed on to the daughter cells. A failure of this mechanism can cause cancer. The last phase is called mitosis, where the cell will divide. In mitosis, the nucleus of the cell will split into two, and the cytoplasm of the cell will split, creating two daughter cells that will come into the cell cycle again. If the cell is a plant cell, then instead of the cytoplasm pinching in the middle and splitting apart, a cell plate will grow in the middle of the cell and form a cell wall that will split the cell into two. However, before it gets ready to split, the cell will go through one last checkpoint called the spindle checkpoint that will make sure the chromosomes will split properly into two cells. Thank you for watching our video. Stay tuned for our next video and don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button. If this video made sense to you, let us know and leave your questions in the comments so we can answer them. As always, thank you for watching. Think Science.